Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today we will talk about the past papers of organic chemistry, topic 10 from IB book. Okay, let us start our discussion. Which of the structures below is an aldehyde? Now when you want to identify a structure, what should we know is that we should know the functional group. We can, if we can identify the functional group, we can identify it is from which family. Now let us study. If you see this one, this is the functional group here. How we can draw it? It's like C double bond with O and single bond with H. So this is basically what is this? This is the functional group of an aldehyde. Like in an aldehyde, there is a double bond with O and a single bond with H. Like in this one, it is what? Carbon. Here it is bonded with carbon. Here it is bonded with another carbon. And there is a bond with O. This is what? This is basically ketone family. Here this is the functional group which is carbon double bond with O and single bond with OH. So this is the carboxylic acid family. And this one when this carbon is double bond with O and a single bond with O and a further there is an alkyl radical. If you know this one is what? This is ester. If you want to solve this type of questions you have to identify the functional groups. It is better to do functional groups so that you enjoy organic chemistry. What product results from the reaction of CH2, C double bond CH2 with Br2? This is the double bond, so this is ethene. This is a hydrocarbon and it has a double bond, so it is ethene. Uh, how, how this reaction will occur? Let's draw the structure. We have a double bond with C and there is H here, there is H here. Now this is an addition reaction. When it will react with Br2, what will happen? This double bond will break. And there is, as we can see now, here with this one carbon there is a bond and there is one here. So this will be Br and this will be Br. So if you write the condensed form, it is what? CH2 Br and CH2 Br. So what will be the correct answer in this case? It will be D. Like in the above case, we wanted to write for the aldehyde, so the direct answer is what? E. What is the final product formed when CH3CH2OH is refluxed with acidified potassium dichromate? It's, this is what? This is a primary alcohol. How do I know this? With the help of functional group, when there is a carbon attached with OH, it's what? It's an alcohol and this is a primary alcohol. So this is oxidation. So what will be the final product? If you remember, what do you study? That alcohol first become an aldehyde. Okay, when it is refluxed, it means it continues, the reaction continues and you get what? You get a carboxylic acid. So you have to identify which one is the carboxylic acid here. This is CH3, CWH, which is also known as ethanoic acid. Which substance could be formed during the incomplete combustion? Whenever there is combustion, there is always two products. That is what carbon dioxide and water with energy releasing. But when there is incomplete combustion, instead of carbon dioxide, we have carbon monoxide and water. Okay, and incomplete combustion, there are also some traces of carbon left. So in this case, what will be the correct answer? Carbon and carbon monoxide 1 and 3 so C is the correct answer here. Which formula represents butane or its isomer? Butane is basically that hydrocarbon which has four carbons so we will see all of these formulas which have four carbons we will select it as butane. See this 1, 2, 3, 4 so there are four carbons this one is butane 1, 2, 3, 4 here it's also 4 so this is also butane it is 3, 3 plus 1, 4, so this is also butane. So what's the correct answer? D, 1, 2 and 3. Which statements about neighboring members of homologous series is correct? We have to pick the correct one. They have the same empirical formula. No, they cannot have same empirical formula because if it's same empirical formula, it means it's the one compound only. They possess different functional group? No. If they possess different functional group, it means they are from different homologous series. 
they de differ in the degree of unsaturation no they cannot differ otherwise it will be different series they are they must be same if all should have one uh, double bonds or triple bonds so they will have they will we can call them homologous series so what's the correct answer they differ by a ch2 group like for example in alkanes you have ch4 then you add ch2 it becomes c2h6 so this one is the correct answer what is the IUPAC name for CH3, CH2, CH, CH3 twice? To write its name, it's prob it's better if we draw it. Like we have CH3, so we can write one carbon attached with three hydrogens. Then we have a carbon which is attached with two hydrogens. Then we have a carbon with one hydrogen only. And we have carbon with three hydrogens. Now we have one, this three CH3 left. So all of these carbons are full. Like there are four valence electrons in carbon, so it can make four bonds. So all of them are full. But if you look at this one, four, five, six, seven. So one place is empty. So this will be what? This will be the branch. So the branch is on the right side. So we will favor the counting from the right side. This one is the parent chain. What do we call the parent chain? The longest chain. So it is four carbon. So this is butane. So we will favor the counting from the right side. So it will be second carbon. So you'll have this is what CH3 is known as methyl because when you have an alkene, you remove one hydrogen from it, it becomes alkyl radical, right? So it will be what? 2 methyl butane. So this will be the correct answer. Which compound has the lowest boiling point? All of them have same carbons, like one, three have same carbons, the fourth one has also four carbons. Keep this thing in mind that more branches, if a compound has more branches, less will be the boiling point. Right? So in all of these four, this one has the most branches because there is a carbon in the middle and there are four carbons attached like four methyl radicals are attached so this one will have the lowest boiling point which type of reaction does the equation below represents see this is what is this happening that there is a double bond here like this is ethene bromine is added to it and you see the double bond is broken and it's added there's nothing else so this is what this is simple addition reaction alkanes cannot do addition reaction because they are already full you can only do substitution or elimination but alkenes can do addition reaction how when you break the double bond it becomes single bond so there is space here and space here so that addition can be done which compound is a member of the same homologous series as one chloropropane so you have to pick the same member so if you see this is propene so this is not the same this is different then if you see one bromo propane in this one the halogen is different so it's not the same one one dichloropropane there it's also two branches so not the same but if you look at this one one chlorobutane this one is same chloro is there hydrocarbon is there so this is the same one which formula is the correct representation of pentane pentane is what it's a hydrocarbon alkane with five carbon so c5h 12 and we want to find pentene so if you look all of this and you draw the C this is what CH3 then there is a CH2 thrice it means there are three CH2s and another one CH3 so this is what this is C5H12 this is pentene so C is the correct answer in this one why it is not correct because there is a branch involved this is CH so there is a branch involved we just want to do pentene there is no branch here so this one is not the correct answer here it's also when you will draw it it's not the correct answer and same goes here how many structural isomers are possible with the molecular formula C6H14 it's a very tricky one for the calculation of isomers it depends upon the type of molecule you have but I'll give you a formula here when you have uh, alkene ranging from 4 to 7 okay 
you can calculate the number of isomers with a simple formula which is 2 n minus 4 plus 1 yes with this formula you can calculate the isomers but it's only possible if n this n ranges from 4 to 7 but like what is n n is the number of carbons like in our case what's the number of carbons 6 so how can you calculate it 2 raised to power 6 minus 4 plus 1 so what is 6 minus 4 it's 2 so 2 square 2 square is 4 4 plus 1 5 so in this case the answer is 5 but this formula is only applicable if you have carbon number from 4 to 7 which compound is a member of uh, aldehyde homologous series so again to solve these type of questions you have to identify the functional group and the functional group of aldehyde is what CHO so what's the correct answer in this case it is D okay like if, if you draw this one this is ketone this is alcohol because if you will if you identify the functional group it's something like this double bond with O here it is OH OH is telling you this is alcohol this is C double OH double OH is normally with carboxylic acid and CHO is for aldehyde so we want to pick aldehyde so the correct answer is D which type of compound can be made in one step from secondary alcohol secondary alcohol one step oxidation what was that secondary alcohol when you oxidize it that directly becomes a ketone so the correct answer is D which formula represents a tertiary alcohol to identify the type of alcohol how do we do it either it is primary it is secondary or it is tertiary to pick it what you have to do you have to see which carbon is associated with the functional group this one then if this carbon is further attached with one carbon like with this carbon is further attached to one carbon we say it is primary if this carbon which is attached with a functional group is further connected with two carbons we say it is what it is secondary and if it's connected with three we say it is what it is tertiary so in this case if you see which one is the correct answer the correct answer is C why because this this is the carbon which is attached with the functional group it is further attached with three carbons so this is tertiary which reaction type is typical for halogenyl alkanes halogenyl alkanes normally do nucleophilic substitution reaction